What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's vlog. I am sitting down and getting ready today right now because it's a crazy week. It is California week. We are going to California on Thursday and I have I feel like I just have so much to do before we go because we're packing for Logan and ourselves obviously and then I have a ton of work <laughs> that I need to get done by the way this is the Elta MD tinted SPF I want to just do a really light makeup application today because I'm going to take Logan out for a walk we obviously need SPF but I'm going to do some content so I want to put look like pretty put together so I was sitting down and I was like let's start the vlog here this week because it's gonna be wild so yeah I have of course one of my busiest months for the year so far is has been this month or will be July which is a great thing that means like business is good collabs are coming in which is amazing but of course it's the month that I have like I'm barely even in my apartment it's two weddings back-to-back -back weekends and traveling for both of them and i've told you guys this but in case you missed the last couple of vlogs that's why this month is crazy so yeah and i have i think i have like five campaigns to shoot but i can't do them all before i leave because i'm still like finalizing contracts i'm still waiting on like some questions answered from different brands there's stuff that i have to shoot that's not available yet so i can't even shoot it until it's available so i'm just trying to figure out how i'm gonna get it all done so i was like let's let's sit down let's start working today it's actually monday and most people are like i feel like at a pool somewhere at the beach it's fourth of july so i'm like i'm gonna work today <laughs> It's just necessary. I'm gonna feel so much less stressed if I get a lot done. So anyway, starting to pack, I'm gonna show you guys what we do for packing for Logan. In case you've never traveled with an infant, we've only flown with him one time and I actually made a list already. So, but he was a lot younger then, so it's gonna be slightly different this time, but I have a good grip on what we need. It's just a matter of like getting it all together, putting it in the bag. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what we got and how we're doing that this week and then i also am hoping i'm gonna be able to like take you behind the scenes a little bit in doing all the work that i have to do because i talked to you guys about this a couple of vlogs ago but i was just like i feel like it can be really hard to like post content about posting content right do you remember this conversation we had and someone commented like why don't you just show us like how you do it like i would be very interested and i i know i have other creators who subscribe to my channel and watch my videos and I get that like I love watching how other people do their work as well or get content or what whatever so I'm gonna try and share some behind the scenes stuff this week of what it looks like as a full-time content creator to like I'm crazy <laughs> to shoot content and like do the whole thing and I have a good mix of campaigns that I need to shoot this week so I feel like it will be interesting for you guys so I'm gonna do that as best I can it's hard to like get behind the scenes footage of me doing that but i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna share that with you and then the plan is next week okay let me think about this so this is sunday's vlog and then wednesday's vlog, wednesday's video let me grab my next product we're gonna do the charlotte bronzer which i just did a full video on this it's up on my channel right now watch it if you haven't already this product is truly insane so then wednesday's video is gonna be a california la vlog because I thought it would be really fun to just vlog. Oh my God, you could tell I'm flustered, hold on. I mean, that's how you know you need a vacuum. When you drop a makeup brush on the floor and it comes up with 12 hairs on it. Anyway, I thought it'd be just fun to vlog while we're out in LA or at least like traveling there and getting ready for the wedding and stuff like that. I'll show you guys the dress I'm wearing. I finally got it back from the tailor. So I'll show you guys that stuff and I'll just like, it'll be fun because it'll be like the first travel vlog I've done in a really long time because obviously we haven't been traveling in so, so long. So that's the plan for next week and this week. That's what I have going on. How insane is this bronzer? What else do I have new? Logan's down for a nap right now. I told you guys last week that he was going through leap eight. He still is, but we have gotten, we have gotten through, I hope, the worst of it because he's already just seems more settled and more content and i knew it was only going to be like a week or so of the worst of it so i'm very happy about that he's close to sprinting like he is so close to just running around it's so so cute 
Anyway, that's my little check-in. I'm gonna finish up my makeup. If you guys have any video requests for the next couple weeks, I'm planning out July and August right now, and I wanna pre-film some stuff just cause I am so busy. So leave any requests below. Makeup, beauty, lifestyle, whatever. You guys know what we do here. So leave those below and I will go through them. You guys always give me the best ideas. I also think we're gonna do the 10K giveaway in this video if I can get my shit together this week. So fingers crossed, you'll know by the time this video is up if this is the giveaway. If it's not, I'm sorry. It'll be happening soon, but I'm going to try very hard to do it in this video this week. Also, the other thing I'm going to share with you guys in this week's vlog is basically like my, the things I do to prep for an event or trip or things like that, meaning I'm going to tan. I'm going to tan my whole body. I think I'm going to just do self tan and then do a spray tan, tan for the next wedding I have. Potentially might get my nails redone, but these might last. So I might try and milk these a little longer and then get my nails redone for the next wedding. But anyway, just like, I mean, all like event slash travel prep, like what I'm maybe like what I'm eating, how I'm hydrating, that sort of thing. I feel like you guys might be interested in that. Just kind of like the week leading up to if you have an event, just stuff that I do to make me feel my best and look my best whenever I get there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, it was actually such good luck. Ethan went over to TJ Maxx yesterday looking for another suitcase because we need another bag for this trip because I think we're gonna check two bags and then we're gonna carry on a diaper bag for Logan or two diaper bags for Logan, just with everything that we need for the plane. And then potentially carry on one more just rolly bag of his stuff. I don't know, I'm still figuring that out. But anyway, Ethan went to TJ Maxx yesterday and he found a Cal Pack bag there for like a hundred bucks. So I wanna show you guys, cause I'm very excited. I was like, honey, that was such a good find. He was like, is this a good brand? Like, I felt like I've heard this brand before. I'm like, yes, that's our diaper bag brand. If you guys don't know about CalPak, they're just an amazing luggage. Let me show you guys. Okay, so get the dust off here from my nasty ass carpet. Here's the bag. It's a big, big, big boy, which is perfect. Like exactly what we needed. And you open it up. First of all, I just think it's so aesthetic. Their whole brand is just it's really nice looking. Okay, so we have a little zipper here for this inside pocket, but I believe we're just gonna keep that fully zipped. So we have this whole section, then this zips completely around here. We have a mesh pocket. We have two big pockets for, you know, probably like, I don't know, we'll see anything, <laughs> underwear, shoes, whatever. Then this whole side also zips. So then we have this additional compartment. We have a little wet bag for like, you know, um, things that might explode. So like maybe hair, product, skincare, if I can fit like, you know, two things in there that need to be water safe or whatever so it doesn't explode on everything. And then this whole section right here. So I'm pumped. If you guys are looking for a new bag, check TJ Maxx, honestly. This was $99 and it is a big boy. So I'm very happy about that. In terms of packing, this is all I have done. Um, just random stuff that I know we're gonna need for Logan. This is what he's wearing to the wedding. You guys are gonna die. This is potentially for the reception and or his birthday. Depends if we change him into this, but he's gonna be wearing, look at this cute little polo short all little romper thing. I'm obsessed. I just thought it was so cute. I got these all from Macy's. I ordered them online. And then this is his little suit. I got a pair of a little pack of polo socks too because I thought these would be cute with that. And then look at this little suit. Uh, I We literally put this on him and we died. This is the shirt. It comes with a little vest. I'm sorry. Look at this pocket square. I'm literally crying. Okay, and then this little tie. <laughs> like I literally can't handle it. And the pants. The pants are a little long because little boy has short legs and a long torso like his mama, but it is precious. And then I think he's gonna wear these little polo sneaks. So that's the plan. I'm honestly very excited to dress him in these things. And then I just have, all I have packed so far is overnights 
and wipes. And then we're bringing this little fan because it's gonna be hot out there. And then I have my rehearsal dress, my Amazon shoes that I'm probably gonna wear with both dresses, a little Amazon bag. And then I just threw in random things so far. I have some shorts and PJs and stuff like that. But I'm just proud of us for starting this process already. And then we have a couple other bags here that we're gonna fill. I have new toys for him that I ordered off Amazon that I packed in here that are like, brand new gonna be surprises to him which i think will help because you know we need to keep him entertained for six hours so this i thought would be so perfect because this little book that opens up and he can unclip these or zip these or play with these little things and it's like a couple pages of this stuff so i thought that would be good and then i got these little things that stick to the window. He's a, he obsesses with these. You, he can just like spin them. There's like little spinners. And I got other things too. And we have like his noise canceling headphones. That's the current sitch. I'm actually proud we're ahead of the game because it's Monday and we leave Thursday and the wheels are already in motion. Okay, so I have my dresses for the weddings the next two weekends and I wanna try them on. I actually just got them back from the tailor and I need to try them on and make sure they are the correct length and they fit. So let's do that together. Let's try these bad boys on. Okay, here is the first dress. I'm hoping you guys can see this well enough. I actually love it more than I thought I was going to. I'm looking at the length and it's honestly perfect. You guys can't see the length. I don't get how YouTubers show their feet. Can you see my feet? I'm gonna walk into like I'm one mile away. I don't get it. Anyway, I actually really, really like how this looks. I was a little nervous to put it on. I'm wearing a little shapewear thong underneath this that I also got from Windsor, which is where this dress is from. I'm really hoping you can't see it. You kind of can a little bit. It comes up to here. I wish it was a little bit tighter. I think I need to like wash it and maybe try and shrink it. But yeah, you see it comes up to here and it's just a thong, which is nice because you can't see, like I have no panty lines, nothing. Here's the back. It's just a little crisscross. It is so comfortable, you guys. I can't even tell you. I don't even, I'm gonna trip, I'm gonna trip over. This blanket, I'm stuck on this blanket. <laughs> okay, so I just, yeah, it's so comfortable. I don't even feel like I'm wearing a dress. It's not fitted where it's like, it's stretchy. I think it's really flattering. And the color's actually a lot better than I remember it. I think it's because I've gotten my hair done and I have a little bit more of a tan now. So I'm happy with this. This is dress numero uno. Did I show, I think I showed you guys my shoes before, but just in case. Here are my shoes. They are from Amazon. I love them. They go with everything. I haven't worn them to an event yet, so TBD on how these are gonna be on my feet like for a long period of time. And if my feet will be bleeding, I will keep you guys posted on that. Okay, here is the second dress. I am so in love with this dress. I love the color. It's from Revolve. It's strapless, but I feel so supported in it. I don't feel like anything, I mean, not that there's much that I'm worried about falling out, but you know, sometimes when you wear a strapless and you're like, I could put my arms up and like things could get crazy. I feel supported in this. Not that I'm gonna be dancing like this, but you never really know. Really cute, like fitted, corsety type waist and then it just zips up in the back it's just very classic i'm very excited about this one so i got this at revolve this one was much more pricey than the first one the first one was only like 40 or 50 bucks i think this one was like close to 200 or maybe a little more but i'm kind of in this wedding so i wanted to splurge on like a pretty nice dress so yay the length is good i'm wearing the exact same shoes and the same shapewear because you cannot see anything, no lines, nothing. And it's just flattering. It makes me feel a little more like confident and sucked in, you know? So there you have it. Good morning, friends. Hello, hello, hello. It's officially craziness week. It's LA week. We already know this because I vlogged yesterday, but it's like feeling like a Monday today, even though it's a Tuesday because the holiday yesterday. Anyway. I'm on my way to skin tight right now. I'm getting my M sculpt, my third M sculpt treatment. And then I am going over to my friend's house to shoot a campaign. And I'm gonna try and take you guys behind the scenes on that. She has a beautiful pool and kitchen, so I am going to be borrowing that 
for shooting this campaign and then I have a double tonight I decided I needed since I'm like barely gonna be able to work out this week I was like I need to do at least a double today it's just a yoga class and a tone class and then potentially a double tomorrow but I'm thinking about canceling one of those we will see let's see if I can get it all done send prayers and let's get out of here hello friends good morning oh my god you guys <laughs> that's a perfect depiction of where my life is at right now I try to start doing something and I'm choking okay so yesterday turned into a complete shit show because it rained and I couldn't shoot the campaign I was gonna shoot yesterday because it's for an ice cream brand and I was gonna be like outside by a pool and <laughs> So that got foiled. Since that happened, I ended up just packing a little bit and doing like admin stuff, but I didn't finish packing and I went and worked out, which was good. So proud of myself for that. So basically today I need to shoot three campaigns, pack for our trip, pack our son for our trip, which Ethan and I are gonna do together and self tan. And Ethan just went to pick up his suit. It's, it's, it's insanity. Oh, finish editing the podcast. <laughs> Tried to start that last night too. Couldn't figure it out. So Ethan's helping me with it today. Oh my God. We're basically going a little nuts over here. Um, that was just the road skincare products. I like them. I don't know if I'm obsessed with them. So I'm going to keep using them and be able to give you guys a better idea. Like I just feel like I need to use them for multiple weeks before I can give you a real review. So anyway, I just showered. I wash my hair whenever I'm going on like a trip or doing some kind of event. I usually will tone my hair with my purple shampoo. So I use a couple different purple shampoos. I wanna show them to you guys because I use them for different reasons. Okay, so I've talked to you guys about the Kristen S purple shampoo. This is my go-to for like when I wanna do like an intense toning treatment where I feel like my hair is super brassy or I haven't used a purple shampoo in a long time or I have like an event like this where I want my hair just like as icy blonde as possible. That's what I always want. So that is when I use that. You can already see like the light in here is horrible, but you can kind of see the brightness of it. So I do that or I will use the Aveda or the Not Your Mother's purple shampoo. I like those for maintaining my blonde, but when I really want to like fully tone it, like I feel like this is like what they do at the salon to tone. Like it brightens the hell out of my hair. You guys will see once I style it today. I'm also using my K18, which is an incredible product when I fully wash my hair. I do this instead of conditioner and oh my God, it just bonds your hair. It strengthens it and it's so, so amazing. So I'm just kind of working that through. When I don't use conditioner, my hair does get pretty snarly in the shower. So I need to make sure that's fully worked through. So yeah, I'm going to try and style my hair as quickly as possible. And then I need to start shooting my campaign. So I have one for Beauty Blender. I have one for McDonald's, which is actually really fun. And then one for an ice cream brand. So that's today. And then I have one more upcoming, but I haven't gotten the product in time before I leave. So we're gonna have to do that when I get back. But like I said, I'm gonna take you guys as much behind the scenes as I possibly can. Just had to give you a little update from yesterday because it was a shit show. I meant to mention, when you put the K18 in, you have to let it sit for four minutes without anything else in your hair. So when I'm done with this, like after the four minutes go by, I then go in with my JVN Complete Recovery Serum. So this is my heat protector. It smooths and makes everything shiny and pretty. I usually use my shine drops as well, but I wanted to share those with you guys. is obviously so much better out here so you can see the hair is nice and bright i just blowed out dried it straight and even use a brush because that's the kind of rush that we are in today but all right i'm gonna sit down and film this campaign let me show you guys the setup okay so i have my beauty blender obviously i have the two different shades of the foundation that we are shooting today the light's really bad because it's obviously right here so i have my messaging up on the screen just to remember because i'm doing stories and a reel for this and then i just have my ring light it's this little guy and 
could see me in the mirror. And yeah, that's literally the setup. This is, it's very simple. It's messy everywhere else because that's the type of life we're living today. So yeah, I usually just kind of study the messaging and make sure I know it. I've used the product and love it. And then we just go to town. When I'm shooting this type of content, I usually will like clip my hair back just so it's out of the way. And then I always put on kind of just like a neutral colored top. You can really only see like from here up. So I just don't want it to be distracting. Obviously I want my face to be the focus. So I'm just trying to get as much footage as I can applying the foundation because I'm gonna do a voiceover and talk about the foundation. So I'm getting multiple different angles cuts, things like that. The other thing I'm doing, which is a little complicated, is I'm switching back and forth between doing stories and footage for the reel. So I'm gonna be talking to the camera for stories and doing a voiceover for the reel. So I'm just basically doing messaging while talking to the camera, if that makes sense, so that I can kind of show the vibe because that's more natural for stories than a voiceover. I hope that makes sense. I hope this is interesting to you guys. Guys, I have to tell you, I am so shook by this foundation. I used it to test it out ahead of time, but look at that finish. My memory card ran out of space, so I'm vlogging on my camera really quick. I just had to show you guys this foundation because it's insane. It completely speaks for itself. I did a little bit of the Charlotte bronzer on top. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good after a foundation and this is supposed to last 24 hours so i'm gonna leave it on all day let's see how long it lasts but i barely did any powder i didn't even set i didn't feel like i had to it just melted into my skin in the most perfect way it says like velvety matte finish and holy good god the sun just came out so you can really see i'm shook i'm shook okay so beauty blender check we're done shooting that we still have to edit that but we're gonna go shoot hood before we edit because i can edit later we need it we need the sunlight by the way, when I say hood, I'm talking about that ice cream brand. I don't, ice cream brand. I don't know why I didn't tell you guys the ice cream brand. Like when I was talking about it earlier, it's for hood ice cream. So let's go. Okay. I am just leaving my friend's house. I shot the ice cream campaign. I got zero behind the scenes because it's not easy, you guys. I, but I literally just set up my tripod and I scooped some ice cream into a bowl. I ate a little ice cream. It was so effing good, but there wasn't much to show. I need to go back and like edit and put all the messaging and stuff. So that's like where the real time consuming stuff happens but two down one to go i gotta get home and eat logan's going down soon so i can pack and then we're gonna have to try and get to mcdonald's at some point today okay quick update logan's down for a nap ethan's editing the podcast like an angel i'm having a fire and i'm editing the content that i shot this morning that's the current situation we are chugging along my friends still feels like hair on fire over here but we're doing it by the way Faye, zero percent milk fat, five sugars. Really, there's sugars in this? That's shocking, but it's not added sugar. Only five sugars, 80 calories, 60 grams of protein. Do a little honey, do a little granola. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right, we are full packing mode right now. Ethan is a champion packer. Like, I don't know what his mom put in his cereal <laughs> when he was a kid, but it's crazy how he does this. So this is the cow pack one I showed you guys and we're gonna do Logan stuff probably on this side and then Ethan will take that side and then I'll use the other one over here that is clearly not packed or as nice as this. So we're making progress. All right, just got to McDonald's. What a treat guys. So I'm trying to figure out, I looked up some inspo for content. I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna get the food and me and the whole vibe. But we have the nuggets, the Cokes, Logan. I don't know if I can be like holding it all. I suppose I could be. Kind yeah. of like you should be take, taking a bite of a, of a nugget or something. How will I do that? Well, if you give me the fries. Okay. Like, yeah, hold, or that's part of the deal though, isn't it? Yeah, I need to be holding all the food. Yeah. You know the sandwich? Well, I just kind of wanted to show. I suppose I could just do close ups of that. Of yeah, the, you of, can. What if the, these are on my lap? But that's not that cute. I am eating a fry or taking a sip. Yeah, you just can't see the nuggets from there. So the nuggets oh, that's a good idea, honey. You could get out of the car. <laughs> Thank you. This is not the most flattering angle right now. No, it's all right. What do we think about this yeah. leg position? Here, look. 
Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the car just pulled up behind me, so mm. I'm sorry you can't. That's see. okay. Okay, I'm covering stop. the M on that. It's okay. I'm gonna stop vlogging. You guys get yeah. the gist. We actually made it to the end of this day. I can't believe it. I didn't think it was ever gonna happen, but we are here and Logan's down and it's time to self tan. So that's what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna sign the vlog off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a crazy vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wednesday's vlog will pick up right where we left off here because it'll be a full LA vlog. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I will do the giveaway in an upcoming video that my 10K giveaway. I just physically did not have time to put any of the giveaway stuff together, but it will be very soon, I promise. So thank you guys so much for watching. Pray for me on tomorrow's flight and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.